We're now going to consider simultaneity. In order to do this, let's consider Einstein's thought experiment. He proposed considering a train carriage which was moving at relativistic speeds along its track. There's an observer outside the train. On a dark and stormy night, the observer sees two bolts of lightning hit either side of the train at A and B at exactly the same time. Meanwhile, there's a passenger inside the train. Now, this train is moving with a speed V. So the passenger inside the train is moving towards point A and away from point B. So the passenger sees the light from point A arrive to him first because he's moving towards that point and so catches up to the light as it's traveling towards him. And he sees the light from point B arrive at him second because he is moving away from point B and so the light has to travel a little bit of extra distance to compensate for this. So the passenger says, well, the lightning hit at A first and B second, while the observer outside the train says, no, the lightning hit at A and B at exactly the same time. Well, who's right? In this case, they're both correct because it depends on your frame of reference, the order in which certain events take place. So let's have a look at how we can also describe this using space-time diagrams. Okay, so we've got our train traveling this way with speed u. A is at this end of the train and B is at this end of the train. Now our observer on the track here, we'll call them in the S frame, so that's the white axes, and we'll put our passenger inside the train in the S prime frame, which is these blue axes here. So let's consider for the outside observer what they saw. They saw the light hitting A and B at the same time. So if that light's hitting at the same time, it's hitting along some line like this, where we've got one value of CT all along the line. So let's draw our events here. So this is this end of the train. This is location XA. And this here is this end of the train, location XB. And those two events happen at the same time. Now, if we want to work out if they happen at the same time in CT prime, we'll need to trace these down to intersect with the CT prime axis. And we can see that event A happens here and event B happens here. So event A happens at an earlier time than B. So we can see from our space-time diagram that these two events do not happen simultaneously.